All right, guys. <clears throat> I am going to give you a tour of my office slash studio slash man cave slash everything above. Um, so yeah, so this room is about, uh, I want to say about 12, maybe 11 by five, maybe by six. But it's, it's a small junior bedroom that I turn into my um, office. And uh, I pretty much do everything in here. A little bit of a mess, but you don't get to see all of this stuff. What you see is what you see on the camera. But um, first of all, I have some sound panels to kind of dampen the noise. Um, when I first moved into this office, it was very echoey. So I put these up and um, put these on the wall. Um, Obama, Mandela, King, Angelo, Marley, and X. My vision board. And more panels over there. Uh, hats, some sneakers. Most of my sneakers are in the basement. It's a fluid time, actually, downstairs because I've been wearing them. Um, hats, messy closet clothes, and not as much clothes, but just random stuff. And um, this is the door. You know, giving homage to uh, Teachers College, Columbia University. But then this gift that I received um, about nine years ago on my birthday. Um, yeah, Marvel Universe, new Buddha, Buddha breath and lights. Yeah, kind of cool. The Quran, old uh, uh, iPod, iPod, some books, camera equipment, um, my Hulk collection. Each of these was given to me by a student. You know, the kids used to make fun of me and said that I was like an incredible Hulk. So they would go in Joku Smash. So kind of got gifts from students, Hulk figurines. And um, yeah, so don't forget about the floor. This is my um, Canon R6 with a 35 millimeter um, Sigma 1.4 lens. So I shoot um, just a different angle. Um, I do most of my shooting in this room, but I'm outside doing which I usually, usually just use my um, GoPro. But here I get a different angle, you know, facing this way. So that depth, so with the depth of field, it was kind of cool with my equipment in the background. I hate having to shoot from the same angle all the time. So, so the R6 is pretty much the my um, my unconnected camera. So when I record on this camera, I record to the SD card and I take it out and I take it to my computer and edit it. I do very minimal editing than I upload. You can tell from my videos. I don't care for sitting around editing for hours. Maybe one day when I have a, a staff, a staff editor, I can worry about that. But yeah, so this is kind of the stuff here. So my cameras, GoPro 7. So that's that kind of like side, behind the scenes side view. Then I have an overhead camera here, another GoPro 7 up here. Um, my other cameras, the RP, and this RP has also a Sigma lens, but it has the, uh, this is a 16 by 16, 235. Um, and then I have a 24 millimeter on top here, which is also 1.4. The 16 to 25 is actually a 1.8. Then my main camera right there. I have a, a dual, um, dual monitor, one um, portrait, one um, landscape, vertical, horizontal. So it's easy for me to get documents on the screen right here. And then also it's much easier to get an eCam live set up like this on the screen than my main screen over here. <coughs> then my cameras, all four cameras are connected into the A10 Mini. Uh, I only use, I only use it as a camera switcher that I have the stream deck that I use to be able to like control my 
podcast, all the uh, layers and stuff like that, and um, the scenes, and of course, my press possession, uh, the Rodecaster Pro. So right now, clearly I'm not sitting in front of the Shure, Shure SM7B or the pod mic. Um, so what I'm using is the, is the Rode Wireless Go. I've connected right into the um, Rodecaster Pro Channel 3. So that's what you're seeing right now, me talking using um, the Rodecaster Pro. Um, I'm sorry, using the, the Rode Wireless Go connected to the Rodecaster Pro. It's kind of cool. So I, can, I, can, I don't have to be connected to it directly. Then um, I have a Ninja Monitor over here. I hooked this up because sometimes um, just to have another site, another view of what my video my recording looks like. Right now it's not even turned on, let me turn that on. And one thing that's crazy about this is that, ooh, what's going on? There we go. Oh, I thought, I thought something was wrong. The quality on here, I wish the world looked like this. The way it looks on here is so amazing. I wish all the, all the recording would look like that. It's a, it's a good side camera to use for my peripheral if I'm just trying to make sure that, I look, that, the, that the quality of the video looks good. Yeah, I told you the choice in SMB, Compass, it's a low profile boom mic, boom arm. I got tired of having the boom arm that was like overhead and I have to always adjust it. This is so easy, you just put it right in front of me and just easy, it's much easier. Um, this is what I had, this is the PS, what's it, PS4? Um, yeah, but that's what I was using prior to, and actually I had two of them, and now the, one is for mic, the other one has a camera sitting on it. Actually, this is what I've actually done. I have um, the uh, the Rode PSA one, so the PSA one. So this I have one here. I have two here. So this one has the pod mic on there. The other one has my RP. Then I have a third one back here. This is actually what's what the um, my main camera, which is the kind of EOS R, is sitting on. So kind of cool, and you know. One thing I like is, is the versatility of these arms because they can carry the weight and I can also adjust them to fit, fit my needs. Some people might say it looks kind of like crazy, but no one sees them, you know, so they're where they need to be. And then my lights are the Elgato lights. I have um, two uh, and then a third, then okay. So I have the two, um, what are these called? I'm gonna have to go on my computer, pull them up. I have the two key lights. So I have the two um, key lights, which are these, then the then the, um, the key light air, which is a smaller version. So I have one here, then I have one hair light one back here. You know, and again, I really use them, but sometimes I do, but you know, no, I don't really have a lot of reason when I use them anymore. Um, my lighting situation is pretty pretty decent, so I like that my background's dark. But sometimes um, I would use it if I really want to, like, have the camera the camera better focus on me. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much it. Everything is to my to my specs, and a lot of the stuff I have here, you know, I just kind of like put together the way I wanted to make to make it work. Even I forgot to tell you. So this is another boom boom arm, the blue compass. But what I did with it was um, I used it with this extension for my overhead. So um, yeah. So I just, I just wanted to show this to you guys real quick and see what you guys think. Um, then of course, oh yeah, I almost forgot my iPad. This is the this is very very important. So whenever I want to do my whiteboards, it's much easier to just write on an iPad. This is like, you know, the iPad Pro. It's like writing on, pa on paper. So it w did me a lot of good during the pandemic because when I was teaching classes, this was this was my blackboard. It did me a lot of good. Um, my computer is the um, 256 gigabyte um, um, Mac mini with the M1 chip. Works perfectly well. I don't, I don't do anything 4K. I'm talking about this guy right here. I don't do anything in 4K, so it does me well, 1080p. 
Then I have an external hard drive back here. There's an eight gigabit hard drive so that I can make sure that I'm, I'm not overloading my computer here. So anything that I do edit work goes into that hard drive that's in the back there. Then I have, a, I have a, another one, brand new one in the back that's, that's, um, that's waiting. So when this one gets full, I'll just pull the other one out and buy another one. So um, one of the things I'm learning now is that um, to store, store, store. Because I have so much stuff I've done in the past that I just had them on the computers that I've lost. And I regret it because I wish I had saved all that stuff. Then um, this right here is another camera set up here. It's, it's actually another workstation. So I wanted something I can just turn on and just, and just start working with. I didn't have to worry about lights and the quality of it. So I have my MacBook Pro here with the Elgato face cam. And uh, I, showed this, I showed this in a previous video. It's pretty cool. Um, I, th I think it's one of the best uh, webcams I've seen so far. Yes, it doesn't do what DSLR can do, but it still does a pretty good job. Then um, to the computer, I have a two gigabyte hard drive connected to it. Again, I try to minimize any stressor on the computer itself by using external hard drives. Um, fan, but like I, I don't have AC in here, so in summertime, um, I just turn the fan on, which works pretty well. Then, um, additional cameras, I think this is a GoPro 6 on the um, Karma arm. It, it still works, I just haven't had any to use it. Then I also have the, um, what is this thing called? It's a GoPro, the uh, GoPro Max, it's a 360 camera. Again, used it minimally, could use it way more. And um, I have to, I have to make it, I have to make a point to get it out and use it. Maybe I go into the city and do some 360 video. But um, that's that. Then I have a Mavic, I do have a Mavic Air drone downstairs, um, which I think I've flown it maybe three times since I got it, which was a few years back, maybe three years ago. But again, I'm gonna make a point to um, to use it as well. Um, but yeah, but this is the, the heartbeat of my production setup here. You know, my my uh, multi multi camera setup for, for my streams, and then my station my um, this kind of the camera here. All right, my son is crying again. He's just not going to bed, and he's making a lot of noise. So I just want to show you show you guys this. Let me go see what's going on with him, and uh, that's it for right now. All right, thank you guys.